are ready to go here at the Big A, the Honda Center in Anaheim. The Duck Pond, both fighters have entered the octagon. Could be one of the more important fights of this or any calendar year. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean super boy, Du Ho Choi. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Express. Herb Dean, our referee Good for this fight. one. Great. Good All right, so here we are, front of center in Anaheim, California. And when you come to certain markets, you better bring it, right? We got Disneyland around the corner. The UFC knows when they come to town in Anaheim that they better bring the stars. They have certainly done that time. They've done that time and time again. Some of the title fights in this area are Velasquez versus Lesnar, Fournier versus Jones. Woodley versus Maya, Cyborg winning the championship, Dos Santos versus Velasquez. So many people have come to this arena as champion and lost those titles. What history will you make tonight? Right on the button. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Just misses with the straight left hand. Nice defense there. Huge block. So more output at least in the early going. Nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. A single collar tie. And now some separation. Nice jab there by Choi. He's close to this is beautiful. He's got a single collar tie. Uppercut lands. They caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Lands the inside leg kick. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. Nice jab by the Korean Super Bowl. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Solid punch, Lance for Two minutes to go. Front kick to the body is there. Nice work by the Korean Super Bowl. Nice head kick gets to it. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, there it is. That's that one, that right hand. Now we're going. Oh, big left hand. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and... I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though, he said. 
Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you a thousand dollars he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's gonna land and land very damaging. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game. Nice block. Oh. Round two straight ahead. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovered over the... Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, nice body shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that left hand is on point. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Let's go. Get out of there. Separate. Get more space He's got that single collar tie locked in. And they separate. Misses with the left hook. Nice block. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length. Oh! Oh, he's in trouble. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Uppercut lands. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Under two minutes to go in our second round. Jab is on the right now. Oh! 
gets to the single collar tie. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh, big left hook there. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. There's that left hand. All right, so an opportunity. Strike there, and oh, that appears to have opened him up. Cutman's getting excited yeah, already. I mean, these guys are here to work. I mean, these guys don't want to just sit around and watch. They want to come to work for their money. And tonight, the Cutman's going to have to work for his cash because that cut can get nasty. Kick lands, my favorite strike. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his striking. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Real Luckily, fight. he made it to Ready. the end of that round. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Nice combination of kicks there by Chor. Just missed with the left there. That's good defense to get that guard up. And doing work with the jab. Well, most fighters can't keep up. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. That was a jab. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Hands higher, hands higher. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it, but the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Oh, the kick landed. Get the elbow. Calf kick lands, and it is starting to bruise now. Dude better check these kicks. He's not going to be able to fight too long if he doesn't. Both guys up here to land there. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Man, has his chin been tested early. There's that left hand. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Let me see those kicks. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. 
Choi is definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that has already compromised on his opponent. All right, so the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you got to credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. The distance gets the single collar tie. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just came out. Just the best leg kick ever. That's more than I mean, he is boy those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Those knees to the body. Beautiful combination. Block that shot. Oh, he's landed behind him. Oh, he's hurt. He's wobbling. Now we're going. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Now we're going. Man, his jab is good. There it is. Choi's able to protect the eye there with that block. So that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage on that cut. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defenses? We worked on this. We knew this would be an attack that they would come with. Why are you not doing what we've trained? This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on the leg. Waning seconds here of round number three. Right. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Take two breaths. Look at you. You got the better you that round. You battered you a little bit. But you hung there tough. You showed you have heart to be a champion. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide Ready, of this fight. Ready. Fourth, Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. No surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swelling. Oh, oh you got to start to look to finish him now. Oh. He missed with that jab attempt there. It's a nice jab by him there. 
Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side. Oh! Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Big right hand. Kick there. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Choi's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Don't to work. Under two minutes to go. Just out of range with that strike. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. The that punch, no good. Oh, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Oh, now working the body with the elbow. I'll buy it. Big kick. In. One more in this fight is going to be stopped. Oh, back and forth we go. Blood is everywhere. I'm just not sure how much one man can take, never mind both of these guys absorbing a ton of damage to yeah, John, they're spraying blood all over each other. They're beating each other up. They are in each other's face. They are really showing you what type of heart you need in order to be a fighter. What a performance by both. Very rarely do you gain and lose it. Whoever loses Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high-octane output on both sides, and candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both going to have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with an idea that they were collecting 50000 extra dollars. And right now, I am certain that they're both going to see that check. Well, wisely, he continues to strike right on that cut. And the blood, I think, is becoming a real factor now. Yeah, the blood is becoming a factor. Because now, you start to worry about the blood going... Oh! Back to his feet. Big right hand. Now we're going. Ooh, what a punch. 
Well, despite his corner's best intentions, he hasn't made the requisite adjustment. He continues to eat upper leg kicks on that thumb. He's got to switch his stances. The problem with switching your stances is everything doesn't work as well on the opposite side. So your mind tells you, get back to where you're good. But the reality is, you have got to find a way to stop this guy from landing all of these leg kicks. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. Oh, big shots raining down. And there it is! Oh, my goodness! That has got to feel good! Oh, 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 my goodness. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight.